Hello, my name is Larry and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is a D, well it's a Keto Tech. Actually, the brand is, it says right here is a Keto Tech. It's a D52 2047 multifunction meter. Now, its test functions are AC voltage, AC current, active power, reactive power, power factor, and watt hour meter all built into one. It's a pretty cool little gadget. And they're not that expensive. I think I got this one online for something like $15. Uh, my intentions are to find a way to incorporate this into a, a solar panel system. Uh, I've got some videos out there and I'm going to be putting some more out there on installing my own little solar testing and solar setup on my warehouse here to see if I can save a few dollars from time to time. But anyhow, I'm going to try to show you how I wired this up. This is kind of like a DIY video. It's not how to and if you're not uh, electrical handy or not certified or don't know much about electricity, uh, let's start off with saying that be safe, practice safety. Uh, man, if you don't know what you're doing, hire an electrician to do it. I don't want anybody to get hurt following the instructions or how I'm doing it in this video. So, guys, please be safe. What we're going to do is we've got a power strip here, and it's already plugged in. And I'm going to begin with showing you how the wires are ran, where they're tied in at, and how they basically function. So, currently, we've got this plug is the power cord. Let's see if we can get that down there. That we're going to be plugging into the strip. And it's coming in right here at the bottom. Right there. Now, you got a live and you got a neutral. This is a neutral wire. This is your live wire. The live wire comes in to number two, and we jumpered it from number two. It goes through the center of this multimeter, and it comes out the top. And then it runs in to the back of this box and goes over to your brass screw on the side of the plug. That's your live wire. Now, you've got your neutral, which is the same plug coming in right here. comes out right here, it runs right along here, and comes into number one. There's no power here, so I can touch this. If you had this energized, you sure wouldn't want to be touching that. That'll kill you on the spot. So it's coming in, and then the neutral wire is coming back out of here, and it's running right over here, it's going in through this hole, and then it's coming right in here on the silver screw on the side of the plug. Got it? See how that's done? Not not hard at all. Might be a little confusing for some people, but with this little schematic and this drawing and the way I've wired it, it should help you get this thing hooked up the proper way. Now I'm going to put this back in the box right now. And of course you'd want to make sure this is wired better than what it is. It's not completely tied in the way it should be. This one's just the way it should. It should go around the screw locked in there. And I always face the wire going that direction with the cutoff end on this side. That way, when you tighten that screw, it'll pull that wire down inside there and hide it just like you see there right now. And it'll look a lot better and it's a lot safer. The other side is not right, but for testing purposes, it'll work. Okay, let me put this back in place. Okay, we got that back in there now. Now, like I said, this is a power strip. Let me get this camera out here a little bit. There we are. The power strip already has power. It's plugged into a receptacle in the wall. We're going to take this doom flitchy right here. This is the power cord, as you see. There's no tricks. We're going to run it around here, and we're going to plug it right into... Let's plug it into this one. There we go. Now then, when I flip this switch, we should have power over here. Bingo, we got it. Pretty nice colors, ain't it? Yellow, orange, teal green, white, blue, and red. Watts at the top, kilowatt hours second, 114.7 volts, 59.9 hertz, 0, 0.00 amps, 0, 0.00 power factor. Now this is a reset button. If I want to take that back, <clears throat> let me see if I can hit it, but I can't get my old fingers in there. That is a reset button to reset the, the meter. 
Now everything is functioning like it should be currently. Right now it's ready to roll. So next we're going to take this heat gun, which draws quite a bit of juice. And we're going to plug it right into this box right here, just like so. Now we got it plugged in. No tricks. Like you see some of these guys out there on YouTube put all kinds of tricks out there. This is not a trick. Now we're going to kick it on. Watch the meter. Let me focus the camera a little closer. There we go. Now you can see it's drawing 11, 25.7 watts. 105.6 volts, 59.9 hertz, 10.67 amps, 1.0 power factor. That's on low, let's kick it to high. Nope, that was high, we'll kick it to low. Now we're at low, 627.9, 110.5 volts, 59.9, 56, 5.68 amps, 1.0 power factor. Now we're going to shut it back off. Guys, it's a pretty cool little gadget. Like I said, I'm going to try to incorporate this into uh, probably something to do with solar. Uh, I'm just really getting into the solar part of the world now. And with the price of electricity and rolling blackouts, uh, I'm going to start installing some of my own solar to see if I can save a buck here and there. Uh, once you reach retirement ages, you try to find all kinds of ways to save dollars. Uh, money just don't go as far as it used to. We do ask that... Uh, if we shared any information with you that's valuable to you, that helped you in any form or fashion, that you hit the like and subscribe button. If you hit the you know subscribe button, we'll send you out a notification when we put out our next video. And we're going to be trying to put out a video once every week or every two weeks or something like that on little gadgets like this, solar, uh, maybe some water well drilling, uh, different things that we've worked in the past. And our sawmills, we're going to get them back up and running. But yeah, we'd really appreciate it. Leave us some comments down below. Now, we love comments. We always answer them. Uh, we enjoy chatting with y'all guys. There's a lot of really cool people out there on YouTube. So hit the like, subscribe. We'll send you our notifications. See you in our next video. Thank you.